Welcome everyone to this new exercise. In this video I would like to show you on first hand how to use the definition query as you can see here on the screen. So we are part, or we are now at the exercise number 12C of the book Getting to Know ArcGIS 10 and not only the definition query but also um, a way to um, recalculate fields in your attribute table using the field calculator. Therefore, we will start with the exercise 12C, and as you can see, we have here the final output out of the last video, which is uh, something like the union out of every input we have created, and we can easily address areas where we can harvest trees uh, that are part of these leaves. Uh, they are defined by a special label. You can easily define that not by clicking labeling itself, which uh, will show the default label. I don't know what this is at the moment. Oh, it's a lease ID. So uh, by using the, I think it's the cut area. Oh, let's find out. Standard in no cut area, no cut area it is. Um, you can easily see that there are areas where you are allowed to cut trees. These are defined by the value minus one. And each area where you have the value bigger than, than zero um, is part of either a buffer zone around, um, uh, around uh, streams or rivers or it is part of um, an area around birds nest we are not allowed to harvest trees so what we will use is uh, we will use this information in a definition query so go to definition query Why well, we can also check with the query builder so these are available inputs here are some elements you can use for your for your uh, query so our query and we will use the FID no cut area and as, as we have seen in the map these or we will only use values which are the same as minus one so use that and take this one okay so what you can see now is uh, or are just areas where you're allowed to cut trees uh, or to harvest trees. Uh, as you can see here, we have the circular areas where the where the birds nests were, at, and we have here the river sections. We are not allowed to cut them. So, um, what else can you do now? Um, well, first of all, um, we have some problems due to the union feature uh, function because there was um, something like a stand value. Or value per meter I think um, attribute available here value per meter which is only copied out of the original uh, stand value or stand feature so this isn't or we cannot use that anymore so we have to do, um, recalculate this one using shape area and the value per meter so let's do that right click on value per meter you would like to create uh, you would like to recalculate this one so value per meter And now we need to recalculate stand value, of course. Sorry for that. So, stand value field calculator. We will use the value per meter multiplied by the shape area and divide that by 1 million to keep your value in millions. So, this is then the stand value. Normally, if you're not in an editing session, you will get um, some problem here. Um, but as you can see, 
the uh, calculation was done very quickly and we have recalculated the stand values. We can check that by opening the old stands layer. Right click on it and check for the attribute table. There we have the stand value. Or we have to choose or select only lease IDs that are the same as F. Oh, okay. That was a problem. Click on apply. Say close. And choose only or uh, choose only show selected. So we have the object object ID uh, 1093. We have a stand value of 5.38 million and we will now use this object ID which is the stand ID here. That was probably something like 1093. Once again, use select by attributes. Uh, this was the stand ID. It's the same as 1093. Zero out of everything is selected, so that was not that easy. We will check once again. Maybe we will search for 1055. Once again, select by attributes. Stand ID is the same as 1055. Click on apply. Then you have here the stand value of 0 0.587. And in the new stand or the new stand value is a little bit lower. It is 0 0.48 million. So um, this particular cell here has a lower stand value as it was before. Let's check for geometry. There is a geometry as you can see and we will now use this new or uh, the old stands layer above it and as you can see here we have a little cutoff on the left hand side of that uh, of that polygon which is now not available for cutting trees and so the stand value has decreased here. You can easily use the final version here for that uh, right clicking and saying ex export this uh, feature or export selected features maybe not for only this polygon but maybe for all of them and yeah that's it for the moment thank you very much for watching uh, stay tuned for exercise number 13